Welcome back to the channel. I'm having a day in the shed, getting some stuff done. Uh, the old pipe that I made for the bike with the stainless decat. Obviously there it is outside, rotten looking, just the surface. Folks still don't listen to me when I say don't buy non-genuine oil infield stuff in there because it is crap. And that's obvious, I mean it's cheap. Get what you pay for though. So anyway, give it a paint, cleaned up, brought in. Do someone for a spare. Other jobs mean doing. Not today, a couple of days ago, I put them on instead. British style font. Um, there's some footage of me doing it. I think it looks a lot better. Um, yeah, that's a bit weird like that. The other wee jobs I've been doing, stuff like somebody had made a bracket here for the glove box and left really sharp edges on. I mean, why would you do that? That's why I ripped my good Jeep hat. Look at that, ruined it. So I took all that off last night, filled it up, cornered it like corners and stuff. Not really much else to do with the Jeep. I've done all the wee jobs. What I never filmed, this back wheel's out of alignment. So my thinking was that the leaf springs are different lengths, one side to the other. I even measured them and I was convincing myself they were. Um, so the gap between here and here was different. So this wheel was sitting like that. And as noted by folk following me, they could see my Jeep crabbing. So we all thought, well, if it's been a French one, there's a lot of these are used in Hercules aircraft shoved out in parachutes. But as we know, this one's not seen military service and it hasn't had that done yet. And it was quite simple, loosened off the four bolts underneath on the two U-bolts there. And I pulled the, the whole wheel, just rotated the, the wheel of the tyre and it pulled the axle and the bottom bit slotted in. So at some stage, they've been loose or loosened off after fitting the new springs. And it's obviously walloped something and just knocked out the locating pin underneath and it knocked it just out of it. So easy done. So that's why you do check your nuts and bolts and everything. But yeah, I'm pleased with how it looks now. It's good. Just leave it as it is. For now. <laughs> I'm not going to paint it desert. I can't be bored with the work involved. And it's all got lano guard underneath, so leave it green. Anyway, I've got to get rid of my motorbike tire. I don't know where you get rid of the tires now, does anyone know? I mean I guess you've got a tire fitting garage and give them some sweeties or something. Uh, take some biscuits, that always works with mechanics, doesn't it? Uh, what else have I been doing? Listening and watching trains all day. <laughs> I'm going to get that old 1950s rally dragged out sometime. I'm not going to do it today now. It's supposed to be raining today and it's not. Uh, I've got some other stencils. There's the two star stencils I bought. Sprayed them with lacquer. So Colin, who used to be a sign writer in the Navy, doing the boats, told me to paint these with shellac. And it stops the ends firing up. Did you know that? So, I don't have shellac. My dad would have had some because he did a lot of stick pressing. The show ones and that. So. I just did it with clear lacquer that I had, but I sketched around them. So I'll get a nice new Stanley knife blade on and I'll cut them out someday. And that gives me a spare set, or if anyone else needs them. Eh, uh, what else? Just tidy up the garage in general. You know, just it's good just to have a good red up, tidy up, and chuck out all the half empty aerosols and stuff like that, and old paint tins and uh, I'll take a run up the skips. I've got a knackered hedge cutter there. Kaput it is. Burned out. So I just tried loosening the blade on it and now start it up. An electric one, but sort of backup. And uh, it just popped the fuse. So that's off to the skips, to the junk. Chuck that in the car along with some other bits and bobs and take them up just now. But yeah, that bike sold. Ben is going to come pick it up sometime soon. So that's gone. Uh, what else? 
Ah, só os relay. The Jeep's all done. As I said, it's all she's just good to drive now. Um yeah, gotta catch up with John, who's back from Normandy. He's got a loan of my 45 War Department can. That's the French can I put on, which I actually think is a better can because look at the size of the filler on them. The pipe's on the outside, normally it's on the inside. That's how jerry cans can pour so fast because it's a breather. So it's some prick like gurgling and, and splurting out. But that you can pour straight in if you've seen me doing it, straight into the funnel, filling funnel on the Jeep. You don't need the snorkel filler that goes onto these or a funnel or anything. And it's clean inside as you can see. So with that, from for 20 quid from Trevor at Cold Street from an Army Navy store. So if you want one, he's still got a couple, I think. I need to get back and see him. Oh, he's not seen the Jeep yet, I need to go down with the Jeep. Day out with Farmer Chris. Anyway. I don't think it's going to rain, so I'm going to take the Enfield out for a run. I'm not going to make a film, I'm going to just ride my bike and enjoy it. So I'm get some pictures. And I'll explain why you're going to be getting less films. We're nearly at two years age of that bike and two years since I've been monetized and it's not about making money, it's about making films. However, I make the same amount of money as I was last year. Nothing's going up. I did all those films going up north, got a lot of time making all them and there was nothing extra. Actually that month's payment went down and if you want to know how much you earn, honestly, I've once had a payment for 160 out of the blue. Mostly it's 70, 80, 90 quid, 100 quid. So yeah, if it was 60 quid a month, minimum, apparently is what I'll get, um, it's two pound a day. But you know, you're not doing this for money, you're doing it for your enjoyment. And I also want to go back to writing my blog again, because I do miss writing. I thought I just, gave up on that. You don't get comments on the blog anymore. Folk don't see me read blogs, but I like to do blogs. I like to look back on them. And I'm gonna I've never wrote anything about the Enfield on the blog, funny enough hardly. I just link the films every month or put photo dumps on it. I mean they're run by Google, so it's basically everything's hopefully saved for free in there. Um but yeah I want to try and do like one, one a week, so I'll be doing more motorbike rides and just try to get some more nice photos taken here and there and they'll go into blog posts you've got to get out of that habit of you don't have to take a camera away every time you go out train interruption you don't need to and some of the best rides you'll always have is on your own with no one else there, no one else seen it whatever um, and there is other things I could do in my blog, but I'm not. I've never asked you to subscribe, really. Never asked folk for any money. No, I've never asked anyone for any products to test. I've been offered to test ride motorbikes, but I mean, I'm going to do a two-year review of my bike, and I'm going to tell tell folk in that review. Don't don't rely on buying one because I'm telling you to buy one. Go take one for a test ride. You might not like it. It might not fit you right. I don't know. Uh, you can't take a motorbike for a test ride and give someone a review and should you buy it or not. That's no way to review a bike on a two, three hour test ride. Long term ownership's good, but you still have to ride one yourself. And there, there's loads of devils available, so just go and ride them, whatever bike it is. Uh, but anyway, that's why you're gonna, I'm gonna scale it down a couple of films a week max. If it's only one, it'll be going to work and it'll just be eight minutes long. You need eight minutes or over to get adverts. But anything over that, I think people get bored. A lot of folk just skip films. Because you get, I can look at how long folk watch them for and where they skip off the films about. It's quite interesting. So I hate the adverts and I hate putting them on, but I always select non uh, skippable adverts. So I think they put one on non skippable which is their advert anyway right i'm offline sun's still out i'm going to go for a bike ride
No, I'm going to go to the skips, then I'm going for a bike ride. Get the chores done, then go and play. Alright, see ya, bye.